about to punch it in the end zone. They're in the red zone at the 18. And Manning going to the end zone for the touchdown. Evan Ingram. Ingram is the definition of stable. He makes no difference between home versus away or NFC versus AFC. He did, however, score under 5 finest points 6 times, most of the top 5 tight ends. Furthermore, he had 7 top 10 weeks. His one game floor this season has been 2.1 points and his one game ceiling 12.5. I am not interested. With Graham, third and three, going Jimmy Graham's way. Goes up and gets it. Touchdown Seattle. In front of time. It took Graham to week seven until he had a game with more than 10 fantasy points. He did, however, have the fewest targets among the top five tight ends with only 95 and he finished in the weekly top 10 tight ends 7 times. His one game floor this season has been 3.4 points and his ceiling was 12.6. I am interested. From the 12, Zachary's out wide, one on one. Clement flares out to the right, caught over the middle and into the end zone. Zach Ertz for the touchdown. Ertz was amazing at home last year with 10.4 point average compared to 8 on the road. He's also a nightmare for his own conference with 3 more points on average against NFC teams. Ertz also had the most top 10 finishes of all tight ends with 11 and his one game floor this season has been 4.5 with a ceiling of 13.8. I am extremely interested. Here comes Hill. Faked everybody to do a little flip to Kelsey and he jumps over Kelsey faced a lot of trouble within the AFC last year. He averaged 6.5 points less against the AFC than the AFC. However, he did crush every team that had a below 500 record with a point average of 11.8 and had 8 top 10 weeks. He finished the season with a one game floor of 5 points and a ceiling of 16.8. I am very interested. Brady lost one for Gronkowski, reaching for it, touchdown. Gronk terrorized AFC opponents last year, scoring 11.7 fantasy points on average within the conference, and he was also fantastic against teams with a winning record, scoring 5 more points on average for a total of 11.8. Gronk had 10 top 10 finishes last year, only Ertz had more with his 11 and Gronk's one game floor was 6 and his one game ceiling was 18.8. The only reason I'm not extremely interested is the draft capital you might have to spend, but I am very interested. Thank you very much for watching, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more weekly content and as always, the spreadsheets are dark and full of terror.